Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this frame using flexibility matrix method. Before analyzing, let us see the frame one time. In this frame, there are two columns, column AB and column CD. Also, there is a beam BC. In the column AB, there is uniformly distributed load 12 kN per meter. It is acting for the full span. In the beam BC, there is uniformly distributed load 9 kN per meter. It is also acting for the full span. The height of both of the columns are 4 meter. The length of the beam is 4 meter. The moment of inertia for the column AB is 2i, for the column CD is 2i, and for the beam BC is i. In this frame, in the points A and D, there are hinged supports. Now, let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. In this frame, the number of unknown reactions and moments are 4. They are the vertical reactions VA and VD and the horizontal reactions HA and HD. The available equilibrium equations are 3. They are sigma M is equal to 0, sigma V is equal to 0 and sigma H is equal to 0. The degree of static indeterminacy is equal to 4 minus 3 we will get 1. In this frame, in the point D, let us remove the horizontal reaction HD. You can see that in the point D, I have released HD. This figure is called the released structure. Now, let us make the coordinates diagram. In this analysis, there is only one coordinate that is HD. Let us assume that HD is acting towards the right side. Now let us find the vertical reactions. First let us find VD. For that I am going to take moment about A. In this case I am moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. VD is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be positive and the distance is 4 meter, so for VD, the UDL 9 kN per meter is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be negative and the distance is 4 meter. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance and the distance by 2. The UDL 12 kN per meter is also acting in the clockwise direction. So it is also negative and the distance is 4 meter. After calculation, we are getting VD. Then we can apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find out VA. For VA, we will get a negative value. That means our assumption is incorrect. VA is acting downwards. Since both of the columns BA and CD are having the same height 4 meter, these are the final vertical reactions. Let us apply the rule sigma H is equal to 0 and find HA. Let us see the formula to find HD. P matrix is equal to delta matrix inverse into delta matrix minus delta L matrix. Inside the P matrix, we will have HD. In the point D, there is no displacement. So, inside the delta matrix, we will have 0. To find delta matrix and delta L matrix, we are going to use unit load method. In the unit load method, first we have to find the moment M using the loads in the frame. Then we have to remove all of the loads from the frame. 
and apply unit load in the coordinate and find the moment small m. Now let us find the caps m. For that we have to make sections in this frame. In this frame there are three different parts DC, CB and BA. So we have to make three sections. You can see that I have made the first section in DC, the second section in CB and the third section in BA. Before finding the moments, let us make the free body diagram. To make that diagram, I am going to split the frame from the point C. So we will get two different parts. You can see that I have split the frame from the point C. So we are getting two different parts. Because of this, a reaction is developed in the point C. Since this is acting upwards, the reaction in the point C should be acting downwards and here it should be acting upwards. Now we are going to find the moment M. Before that, let us enter the flexural rigidity origin and limit. For DC, I have made the section at a distance of X from the point D. So the origin is D. The limit is 0 to 4. The moment of inertia for a DC is 2I. So the flexural rigidity should be 2EI. For CB, I have made the section at a distance of X from the point C. So the origin is C. The limit is 0 to 4. The moment of inertia for CB is I. So the flexural rigidity should be EI. For BA, I have made the section at a distance of x from the point A. So the origin is A. The limit is 0 to 4. The moment of inertia for BA is 2i. So the flexural rigidity should be 2ei. Now let us find the moment M in DC. In DC up to the section we have this reaction 42. For this reaction, there is no perpendicular distance. So the moment in DC will be 0. Now let us find M in CB. We are going to calculate the moment in CB from the point C. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. The reaction 42 is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is x. So 42x. The UDL 9 kN per meter is acting in the clockwise direction. So it will be negative. For the UDL we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2. Here the distance is x, so x into x by 2. 9 upon 2, we will get 4.5. Let us apply this value here. Now let us find the moment M in BA. I am going to find the moment in this section from the point A. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. The horizontal reaction 48 is acting in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is x. So 48x. The UDL 12 kN per meter is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2. Here the distance is x, so x into x by 2. x into x, we will get x square. 12 upon 2, we will get 6. Let us apply this value here. 
Now let us remove all of the loads from the frame and apply unit load in the coordinate and find the moment M. Since there are no horizontal loads, the value of HA also will be 1. We have applied unit load towards the right side. So HA should be acting towards the left side. Since there are no vertical loads, the vertical reaction VA will be 0. Now let us make the free body diagram. We have applied unit load in the point D towards the right side. So a reaction is developed in the point C towards the left side. And here it should be acting towards the right side. Let us find the moment in the point C. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction and the distance is 4. 1 into 4 we will get 4. Since this load is acting in the anticlockwise direction, the developed movement should be acting in the clockwise direction. And here it should be acting in the anticlockwise direction. Now let us find M in DC. The unit load is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is x. 1 into x we will get x. Now let us find M in CB. The moment 4 is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be positive. Now let us find M in BA. This reaction is acting in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is x. 1 into x we will get x. In this analysis there is only one coordinate. So in these three matrices we will have only one value. Now let us find delta L. The formula is integration of m, m upon e i dx. In the formula, let us apply the values. For dc, no need to make the integration because the value of m is 0. Only we have to make the integrations for cb and ba. For cb, the limit is 0 to 4. For ba, the flexural rigidity is 2 e i. So in the formula, instead of EI, we have to apply 2 EI. The limit for BA is 0 to 4. Now let us apply the values of caps M and small m. Now we can take one calculator and do these integrations. If you do not know how to do integrations in the calculator, See the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and got these answers. Then we have to add these two values. After adding, we are getting delta L. So we have found the delta L matrix. Now we are going to find the delta matrix. The formula to find delta is integration of m square upon ei dx. In the formula, let us apply the values of m. After the integration, we are getting these three values. After adding them, we are getting delta. In this formula, we have calculated everything. Let us apply the values. We can add these two matrices. After adding, we are getting these. Then we have to take this value as inverse. We can eliminate this EI and this EI. After the calculation, we are getting HD. For HD, we will get a negative value. That means our assumption is incorrect. We assumed that HD is acting towards the right side, but actually it is acting towards the left side. Now let us find HA. Let us assume that HA is acting towards the left side. Let us apply the rule sigma H is equal to 0 and find HA. For HA we have got a positive value that means our assumption is correct. 
Now let us make the free body diagram. So we can easily make the shear force and bending moment diagrams. Here I have made the shear force diagram. We can draw the bending moment diagram by superposition method. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.